And our other big story, a warning for Americans worldwide about the deadly Ebola virus. Today, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention urged Americans not to travel to three West African nations. The level three travel alert now. The agency's highest warning applies to Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone, where the virus has killed more than 700 people. Rebecca Cooper live at Reagan National Airport with new details on the outbreak. Rebecca. Well, Allison, today global health officials are stressing that they are only put a travel warning into place for those three affected Western African nations. But there is some cause for concern here in Washington for two reasons. One, this is an international city where travelers come in and go out to all places in the world. And secondly, next week, Washington, D.C. is hosting a high-level Africa summit where there will be hundreds of travelers coming in from the impacted continent. Florida resident Kevin Johnson grew up in the Washington area and is here today to visit family. He says the lethal Ebola outbreak does give him some concern about air travel. I mean, it's a virus, so of course it spreads fast. And you, especially on the plane, you know what I'm saying, taking to different countries and stuff like that, you can't control that. So um, hopefully they get it, they get it under wraps fast. But most travelers today told us while they're aware of the virus, they're not concerned. I'm just not seeing the statistical numbers that's really showing that it's an issue that I'd have to be concerned with at this point. The transmission is actually fluid to fluid contact and more bodily, so it's a little bit less contagious or easily spread than airborne or whatnot, so I don't have personal fears about it. The company sent out emails to let us know and inform us, you know, so that we weren't unduly worried. Bethesda resident Alan Meltzer knows just how worried Liberians are about Ebola. He owns interest in a cell phone company there and says people who have never owned cell phones before are rushing to buy them to find any way to communicate about the outbreak. But both he and his wife say they're not concerned about traveling today and they don't believe next week's Africa summit here in Washington should be canceled. Do you feel like it's, it's worth the risk or talk to me a little bit about why that's okay with you? Well. It's not okay. <laughs> um, it's just the world, I think, that we live in. Traffic's worse. I worry about that a lot more than Ebola. So Alan Meltzer is saying he's more worried about traffic than Ebola for the Africa Summit. And we are going to bring you continuing coverage of some traffic closures that will be going on around that. But in the meantime, CDC officials say they are confident travelers can come into and out of African countries and that if there is any Ebola brought into the United States for now, CDC says they are confident they have the protocol in place to contain it. Reporting live from Reagan National, Rebecca Cooper, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Rebecca. The Ebola outbreak is already affecting Americans. American missionary Nancy Reitball is being treated with an experimental serum after contracting the virus in Liberia. Texas Dr. Kent Brantley, who is with Reitball, is also sick with the virus. He's undergoing blood transfusions from a boy who contracted the virus but did survive.